Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a USB script runner on a Raspberry Pi so that we can extract network information from a computer. So let's get started. So this tutorial only requires a computer, a PyPico, and a micro USB cable. The way we execute commands using the PyPico is by emulating a keyboard. And the way we do this is by using the USB HID library in CircuitPython. So as I said before, to demonstrate the capabilities of the USB HID library in CircuitPython, we are going to make a program that extracts Wi-Fi and passwords from computers. Just remember that this is for education purposes only. So the first step is to install the CircuitPython firmware onto the PyPico. The way we install CircuitPython is by going to the link on your screen and in the description below. We need to install the UF2 firmware file for the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, while plugging in the Pi Pico to your computer, you will need to hold down the boot select button on the Pi. After you plug it in, a folder should pop up on your PC. Then, you need to drag the UF2 file onto the Pi Pico folder in order to install the firmware onto the Pi. The Pi will then reset, and you can now run code on the Raspberry Pi. Now, we need to install the USB HID library. The way you do that is by going to the link on screen and in the description and downloading the files in the GitHub repository. If you want to learn the USB HID library, then you just need to replace the LIB directory on the PyPico with the LIB directory in my GitHub. But if you want to continue with this project, you will need to replace both the LIB directory as well as the code.py file. So there are a few methods that I want to touch upon in the USB HID library before we start. The first one is the keyboard.send method. This accepts key code objects and it will press all of the keys defined. On line 17, we say keyboard.send, keycode.windows, comma, keycode.r. This will open the run prompt. Next, we have the layout.send method. So the layout method is a US keyboard layout object, and we will use the right method to type things. It accepts a string, and it will type everything defined in the string. Then we use the backslash n character to type enter. So those are the two main methods that you need to know to use the USB HID library. Obviously, there are many more, but for that, you can reference the documentation. So to write our code, you then need to open up the code.py file located in the Pico's main directory in a file editor. Make sure that autosave is disabled. I'll be using Notepad++ for this. The reason why we disable autosave is that every time something is saved in the PyPicos folder, the Pi will run the code. So if autosave is enabled in your editor, the Pi may run its code when you don't want it to. Also, since we're using the USB HID library, it may also enter keystrokes in your editor, which is a pain to deal with. So just make sure you disable autosave. Now let's continue with our project. You'll need to change a few things in the code.py file. The first thing you need to change is the drive letter of the PyPico on line 24. You'll need to set this to the drive letter of the PyPico. And then on line 27, you'll need to change the network name to the SSID of the network that you want to get the password to. Now let's look at what's going on in the code. So first we are importing a bunch of libraries. Then it checks if there is a network.txt file in the main directory. All the network information will be saved in this file, so if the file isn't in the directory, then we will run the script. The reason why we're checking for this file is that the Pico will run the program every time something is saved to the main directory. So it would result in an infinite loop if we didn't check for the network.txt file. After that, we define the keyboard layout as the US layout. Then we need to run the command drive letter colon, which will change the directory to the Pi Pico. This is done by line 24. Now, to get the Wi-Fi info, the Pico runs the command net sh wlan show profile network name key equals clear to network.txt, which will create a network.txt file and save the output to that file. This is done by line 27. Then, it will exit the terminal by clicking Alt and F4, and that is done by line 31. Okay, so now that you know what the code does, you'll now need to save the file. And if you wait for a few seconds, it will open a terminal on your computer and run a few commands. Then if you look at the Picos folder, there's a file called network.txt, which contains information about the network. So if that works for you, you've successfully completed this tutorial. If you know any other ways to accomplish this task in a more efficient way, 
please leave it down in the comments below. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Leave any questions down in the comment section. If you're looking for something else to watch, maybe check out my PyPico vs PyZero comparison video. It will be the first link below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.